Hey gang, Zippo. Uh, I put a video up yesterday on how to install a coil on our Briggs and Stratton engines, coil, magneto, magnetron. Um, and I didn't like that video. I wasn't prepared. My engine was just about seized, so on and so forth, yada yada, blah blah. Didn't have two bolts to put the coil on properly and show you exactly how to do it. So we're going to do it right today, hopefully. Alright, first thing you're going to need, a standard business card, okay? Standard business card. The thickness of this business card is all you need to set the gap between your coil, mag, whatever you want to call it, to the flywheel. Now, just like I said yesterday, only a little more organized today. You will take your coil, loosely bolt your coil up with two bolts, both bolts. The coil has slots that allows it for up and down adjustment. Side to side adjustment is not important and is not needed because that throw your timing out. And you want these tight enough so that you don't wobble back and forth this way a whole lot but you can still move it up and down, okay? So, there, we can move it up and down. Not too much wobble. Then, take your business card. Find a flat spot away from the magnet, okay? You don't want uh, the coil over the magnet yet, or under the magnet yet. Take your card, slide it under there, rotate, your coil as you rotate your coil you get it over the magnet see I'm over the magnet let me get it centered over the magnet I've got my bolts just a little too tight not too not you now I can push it down but I'm going to loosen them up so you'll see that it will uh, self level itself let me loosen this one up. See how that dropped? I'll loosen this side and it should drop. See how that dropped? Okay. Now, just tighten up these two bolts. Don't tighten them too tight. It's a steel bolt going into aluminum. Aluminum does not like to be over tightened. You do not have to over tighten these. Okay. Then, like I said yesterday, put your thumb on the card and just rotate your flywheel. Pop. Your business card is now out and your coil is perfectly set. It's difficult to take a feeler gauge and place one here and place one here and rotate because that feeler gauge is not going to give like this business card does. That's why I say use a business card. Save you lots of headache, lots of time and you know, you guys know, you got to put everything back together in order to get the thing to turn over to see if it's going to start. Eliminate the possibility of the coil not being gapped right. Just use a business card. So, then you rotate the flywheel all the way around. Make sure you're not rubbing up against anything. You'll hear it. And we are good to go. We've got a bad coil mounted on a bad engine for the sake of making a good video this time. Uh, this is Zippo. If you guys have got any questions, uh, just let me know. I am going to delete yesterday's video, so all of its comments will also go by the wayside. I apologize for that. Feel free to send me new comments. Uh, if you want to gripe about me deleting your comments, go ahead and put that in there. That's fine with me. It, it doesn't matter. Um, we're all friends here. Anyway, this is Zippo. Later. I'm out.